Welcome back to the new episode of the NetBean series. Uh, this episode will be on GUI design. Um, I'm more to the GUI design than the code and actual layout of the program. I do a lot of layout though. I'm actually more into the GUI development of the program. My partner is more into the code side. and I'll be showing you today on how to make custom buttons, rounded text fields and basically a nice cool looking background for the program to look more appealing. So as you can see I have my basic layout of my program. What I'm going to do is I'm going to basically start off and make a snip of this this actual window here with the orange around it. So I'm going to go to my start menu, get a snipping tool. It's a standard Windows tool, just all you have to type is snipping tool. Once that is loaded, um, you can see the screen goes a bit grey. So make sure your layer at the back of this, which is your background, to it selected so you have the orange guidelines around it. And just click at the corner off and drag all the way to the other corner. This is basically the layout. To get a good layout, you want all four of the corners. But now I only got three, so it, it's fine. It'll do. What you're going to do save it as background or whatever you want to. I've already done a snippet so I don't need to s save it. After you've done that you can go ahead and close NetBeans. If NetBeans has closed you can go ahead and open up Photoshop. Afterwards you want to go up to the top left corner and click file. Um, hit the open button and just navigate to wherever you, you saved your, your background snipping. Once I've done that, I uh, save it as a PNG image so it has no background whatsoever. So I can just go take my rectangular marquee tool which is located here and hold on shift while I'm selecting all the parts, sp uh, specifically the orange parts. And I just want to go ahead and take out all the orange parts. Wait, al afterwards you can just press Control D and it will deselect and you can go click your magic wand. To once you've done that, you can click in the white aspects of the layout and just hit the delete button. Afterwards, just do the same with Control D and it'll deselect. Now that you have your basic layout of the program, what you can do is create a layer and put it behind that. The first layer that you've just made, you can go ahead and call it layout. First thing that came to my mind. Afterwards, you can just select your layer the first one that you just made and go to your gradient tool go up to the top left and I've made a gradient for just black and a kind of maroon with not just a uh, really bright red but more of a darkened red afterwards just go to the center turn off your layout by clicking the eye and select the middle and just pull out until it's around this area See now that's just given me a nice soft black into red kind of fade. Afterwards I just want to turn back on my layout and now you can see how your GUI will actually look. Except for the white parts, just don't worry about that, just uh, an error in snipping. Afterwards I want to just make my title now. So I'm going to go to my text tool. I kind of like clicking right where the text is so I can just basically put it right there because I just laid it out as best as it can. Uh, I just want to kind of type guess what. Once it's done you can select the layer again and hold on control and select the bottom layer. Go up to your select tool and press the centralize button. It will automatically centralize will automatically centralize the guess what text. Afterwards I just want to turn off my layer and edit my guess what text by double clicking it and this layer style tab will pop up and you want to go to bevel and emboss. Just turn up the size of it till it's nicely faded and then go down to drop shadow and do the same for that. Now that I have a nice looking text I have embedded in the background I, d I no longer need my J label in the NetBeans file. Next I'm going to show you on how to make 
an actual rounded text field. I basically mastered almost every aspect of NetBeans design when it comes to utilizing our tools. We know exactly what to do and how we need to do it. To make it, we can just utilize the tools and kind of add and use the tools that we've given, edit some settings and basically we have a rounded text field. But I'll show you how to do that. It's actually very simple. Once you want it once your layers back your layouts back up, go down to your shapes tool, right click it, and go to rounded rectangular tool. Once that is popped up, go to the top right and select your radius to about five pixels, zoom this in, and just select outside the text field until you want to drag it about that much. Now that it'll, it'll appear black, I just want to double click inside that and make it white. Afterwards I just want to right click and rasterize layer. Put it behind the layout tab or just dragging and putting it below. And I just want to centralize it by doing the same thing, selecting the rounded rectangular one layer and, and the background layer, going down to your auto select tool, hitting the centralize. As you can see, there's a little bit of that pops out. That means that in that means I just need to move my text field over to the left about three, two or three pixels. Afterwards, I'm gonna make this rounded text field even better by turning off my layout, rectangular one layer, drop shadow. Make sure the distance is at zero for all of these, and just bump this up a bit. I also want to go to inner shadow and make sh making sure the distance is set to zero bump up the size to about eight and drop the opacity to about 58 it look looks a bit looks pretty good over there click ok to save your settings and basically that's what you have so far now i don't need this anymore so i can use my rectangular marquee tool select the layout tab highlight over the text field and just delete that white layer that's above Afterwards, I can just click Control D to deselect, and now I need to do my button. So now I can automatically delete this layer. I, d I don't really need this layer anymore because I know where my button's gonna go. But now I'm just gonna do a quick, um, b uh, better background, and you you are more than welcome to view it, which is why I added it into this video into a speed art. So enjoy. Okay, once that is done, what you want to do is gonna create our button now. So I wanna go to the top left, go to File, basically gonna create canvas. You can make the canvas 40 by 40. Make sure it's pixels, and you wanna zoom in. Double click the layer to unlock it. Press OK. Make a new layer put it to the back of it, delete the top layer. Now you have a see-through layer, basically like a PNG. Now we need to make our heart button. So you want to go to onto your your shapes tool, right click it, go to custom shape tool, go up to go up to shapes and select the standard heart shape. What you're gonna do by clicking the middle of the canvas while holding on Alt and Shift, just drag out until you get a heart double click the center of the image, make it a uh, bright red rasterize the image and just center it a bit so it's centered perfectly that looks about rightish and just make this a bit bigger Add some inner shadow so it gives it some depth. Add a drop shadow which counts a lot when you're using this program. So it just separates the button from the actual background. And you can go ahead and save this as button. 
make sure when you're saving it you go to the format and cl click PNG save this as button now afterwards you can just go ahead and save this image as the PNG oh, just click replace if that tab comes up and just press OK to render once that's done I can just go ahead and close Photoshop after you've closed Photoshop you can go ahead and open up NetBeans again and we can just go ahead and edit this whole program once that has been deleted you can just double click the guest button scroll down to where the code is and just highlight the whole code and press right click and just hit copy once that's done you can go back to the design view and delete the button once that's done now you have your background layer your basic J label and you want to add the images into the project that you just made so I'm gonna go down to documents where I've actually saved the images and drag this into the toolbar hover over NetBeans and just drop it in your app package afterwards you just wanna select your background again just make sure it's clicked so your navigator at the bottom changes click the background, go to icon in your settings and properties hit the drop down box if nothing pops up hit the three dots once the background editor icon editor is opened you can go into image within project go to file select background and hit ok as you can see now it has made the background just, we were just want to move this um, guest field text area just, just a few nudges to the left so you want to scroll down to your layout tab and just hit the preferred height to about 17 once that's filled in just move your x-axis to about 128 maybe 127 around about there just when you hit this edge it's basically a guessing game and I'm just going to move this a bit down now Let's make it 103. You want to select this. You want to select the guest field again. Go to horizontal alignment. Click center. That basically means that your text inside the text field is going to start from the center. You want to scroll down afterwards to border. And it's default at XP full border. Just click it. And the border editor will come up just click no border and it has no border afterwards it still has a white background which we don't want so click it go all the way down to OP and just untick now you have a clear background so you basically have your project looking something like this looks much better than what it was afterwards you just want to make your button now so like we did with the background you want to create a new J label add it in the center run up there bring it up above the background layer so it's visible edit the text so we make it nothing just go the up to icon here and select the button once the button selected we can just drag drag it where it's best looking and now we need to make it perform as a button so you want to right click it hover over the event, go down to mouse, mouse clicked so it basically makes a private void just like how it did for your button and you can just delete this and paste your code in that you've copied earlier afterwards you can go back to design view whilst this is selected you can go down to cruiser in your properties just go down to hand cruiser and clean and build 
the hand cruiser basically acts as if I hover over the button it'll act as a button and sh sh and change and change my cruiser to to a hand instead of an arrow so it basically tells you hey you can do something with this button after your project has been cleaned and built you can go ahead and run your program now as you can see you have a nice looking program and uh, it's all centered out buttons are always working if you click it it actually performs its function and I can just go ahead and type in the correct value hit the button and there you have it